Hey YouTube, it's Echo Bear, and today once again I have for you guys that's called I Love You. Now before I get into talking about this app and why it's super duper fun, let's get through some serious stuff. So I Love You is made by Zuck Games and the first version that I can find of it being released was on was on January 25th, 2017. And this is another one kind of like Blendoku that I reviewed earlier where pretty much it's color theory and being able to place colors in their exact, in their correct positions along a color gradient. So pretty much if you haven't seen me review this kind of app before, it's a weird mishmash between um, a puzzle game where it's like a bunch of tiles and you have to slide them around and color theory where pretty much you have to figure out how everything lines up along the color spectrum, either from dark red to yellow, blue to green, and any mix of any other colors in between. So pretty much you have your base colors that stick to one specific spot, you can't move them, and those are kind of like your guides, kind of like a Sudoku puzzle, where you have specific things that stay in one spot to help you solve the rest of it, so you don't somehow accidentally solve the puzzle in reverse. So you kind of get to figure out how you play as you go along. It's very, very quiet, very subdued, and as you're going along you kind of learn, it teaches you basically just how to move the tiles and then the rest is up to you. And definitely this game is going to be hard for you if you are colorblind in any way, shape, or form just because of the colors that they use and the different hues that they use within it because of the name. I love hue. It's a pun. I love it. But pretty much it has a ton of different level packs. It starts out with beginner, apprentice, and goes up all the way to visionary. So this game is extensive for being free. Pretty much the only drawback, well drawback to some people, advantage to others, is the fact that you can't buy the level packs. You essentially have to get good at the game and make your way through every single one of the level packs in order to get to the very end of the game. There's no way to cheat around it, there's no way to get there quicker, it's just learning as you go and figuring out how color theory works in the process. Pretty much this game just starts out very basic. You have a simple red to yellow color scheme that you have to solve and yeah, that part is ridiculously easy. It then ramps up the difficulty from there, giving you different types of colors that don't really match each other, complementary, um, inverse colors, colors that don't match, colors that don't really mix well together so you get all these weird shades of browns and blues and greens and kind of off gray shades of all of the rainbow and some of them honestly look really beautiful as you're going but once they get mixed up they look a little uh, by themselves so as you continue going through this game it literally becomes just a massive puzzle of trying to solve a color scheme so premise wise it's super simple you just tap move the color figure out the puzzle boom that's it you're done moving on and for the first few levels that goes by really fast, but as the game gets more difficult and more challenging, it becomes just that, more difficult and more challenging. It's definitely a fair leveling up system, but it is a leveling up system, well not leveling up system, it's a difficulty curve. It's fair, it's justified, it just gets hard as you go. So you definitely need to know what you're doing, you definitely know how to be able to tell different shades from one another be able to figure out what goes where, what's been mixed with what, and be able to figure out where it goes along the gradient. So I already mentioned this, if you're colorblind or don't know a lot about color theory, this game might not be a lot of fun for you or might even be kind of impossible. But for what it is, it still is ridiculously fun. It's really cute and just beautiful because it has all of these just ridiculously beautiful colors going into every single part of it. As for music in this game, it's generally a very, very quiet game. You get sound effects for when you move around the tiles, you get sound effects for when you pick them up and drop them, you get sound effects as you start the game, you get sound effects as you move from menu to menu, and you get like little tiny chimes of music going on when you solve a puzzle or move around within the menu. So 
overall, it's not an extensively sound design game, but it's still very nice for what it is, and it works for what it is. So honestly, if you're looking for a game that's really relaxing, it's nice and quiet, and is just very simple, so if you'd like a game that's more relaxed, more subdued, and just more in general chill than a lot of other games, there's not like a lot of hype or a lot of yelling or screaming or excitement, it's just colors and happy little sounds. So if that's something that's appealing to you, I definitely recommend this app. It is difficult for what it is. I'm only on Apprentice and I'm usually really good with these kinds of games. I ripped through all of Lendoku and I was looking for another one when I found I Love You. So for what it is, it's genuinely a really good game. I don't recommend it for everyone, but if this is something that you're into or you want to get better at color theory, better at recognizing color theory, better at being able to identify different shades within gradients and stuff like that, I definitely recommend this for you, or if you just want something that's fun and relaxing, I definitely recommend it. So for everything this game has, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's definitely fun, I love it, I adore it, it's executed wonderfully, but I just don't think it's for everybody out there. I think some people would much rather have something that just makes sense, it has one simple answer and moving on. This one takes a lot of thought, it takes a lot of concentration, and I don't think that might be for everyone, especially when it has color theory involved and people out there are colorblind and aren't really into color theory. So if you are into this kind of stuff, I highly recommend this game. Make sure to check in the description for the download links if you do want to check those out. But yeah, this game is just a hell of a lot of fun. It's really good and lots of fun, so I don't see why you wouldn't just give it a shot for the heck of it. It's a free game, it's a ridiculous amount of fun, so yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stick to the very end of this video to see some more stuff that I've done. Make sure to leave a like if you did like this video. Leave a comment if you guys think that figuring out color theory and stuff like this is fun. I'm really curious what you guys think. And also leave comments on what you'd like to see me review in the future. If you have a favorite app that I haven't reviewed yet on the channel, let me know and I'll check it out. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. I love you and I love you. So see you in the next episode. Bye!